Hey everyone, Sir Dogan here again. Um, I was really surprised at how extremely positive the feedback was for the Fire Gauntlet video. So I'm continuing forth. We're tackling the Ice Gauntlet, which is next in line. The thing about this gauntlet is that there aren't really any levels in here that are spectacular, but I feel like it's important to handle each one specifically and see the good and bad parts of it. So. Same strategy as last time, we're going to go from the worst to the best, we're going to critique what's wrong, and we're going to praise what's right. Carnation had a lot of potential as a level, but especially in the first half, the non-existent air decoration really detracts from the value of the level itself. The gameplay is completely acceptable, and the transitions aren't too bad, but my main issue with the level is that it's really sloppily organized. The block design is quite too simple, the backgrounds are original, but they can't fill up the entire space by themselves. And I feel like you can see throughout the entire level that it really relies only on the background, except for a few specific parts. Now, color variation is also something to focus on. It stays blue throughout the entire level, which even makes it more boring as a level, considering everything else is fairly lacking. On to number four. A lot of the problems that I have with Carnation, I have with this level. The backgrounds do vary, but they tend to conflict with the block design. The air decoration is fairly minimal, and while the transitions are effective, and the movements are fairly livening to the level itself, there seems to be something missing throughout the entire level. It feels empty. Whether it's most of the air decoration blending in with the background, or whether it's just the fact that the obstacles themselves are organized so that they don't take up enough space, the level itself doesn't feel complete. Chaos himself claims this to be a joke level, but with it being in the ice gauntlet, new creators can still take inspiration from its easy design. I want them to be very cautious in doing so, for while some aspects of it are decent, other aspects are lacking and unacceptable. Let's move on to number three, shall we? Having been made in mid 2.0, amplification is a fairly solid level, though it is still a little lacking in some spots. The gameplay is decent, but still a little bit touchy in some aspects. The block design does change throughout the majority of the level, but it doesn't really feel like it moves anywhere. The color scheme stays fairly the same throughout the entirety of it, and while that is fine, it still seems like the way that it has been executed doesn't satisfy the need of the player to feel like they've moved somewhere from point A to point B. The sync is fairly acceptable. The transitions tend to rely on translucent portals and gravity portal spam, neither of which are very acceptable in the modern 2.11 standards. Let's move on to number two. Geobound perfectly expresses all of the qualities of design that I have identified to be lackluster in the three aforementioned levels. However, the gameplay really cancels that out. It's clear to see that there's a lot of variation in color, block design, air decoration, transitions, etc. But the gameplay itself is very touchy. It takes quite a few attempts to really get down, and the predictability makes it very hard to read. For example, there are some orbs that must be hit off screen, there are objects that move into position, there are orbs that pop up out of nowhere from 0 opacity to 1.00 opacity. There's this part! 
I don't know what else to say other than that this part is very tricky, especially for new players to learn. Having said that, let's move on. Polyhedral trumps all of the other levels in the gauntlet for the same reason that Geobound did. However, the main difference is the proficiency in gameplay. As visible, the sync in both the gameplay and the pulses of the design are very sophisticated and prove to be very effective. However, I do not like this black transition, please don't make more of them, future creators. Having said that, the gameplay and the transitions are much more fluid and easy to read in comparison to Geobound. While they're still not perfect, it's clear to see that there's a lot more reaction time and visibility in determining what you're supposed to be doing. Now, in some areas, the colors are a little bit conflicting. The white and the green and the blue don't mix very well together, but other than that, this is a fairly solid level and the best in the gauntlet. So, that's the end of that one. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of the Ice Gauntlet simply because none of the levels really stand out, but it's quite clear to see that just proficiency in gameplay and design is really all you need to stand above everyone else who's lacking. Um, I can't really say that creating is just about being better than everyone else, because it's not, but hopefully this video has proven to you that the balance between these design and gameplay aspects is really what wins over the hearts of players and creators alike in prioritizing one level over the other. Hope you learned something, and see you around.